In this video, I'd like us to talk about subtitle edit fonts. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, how your subtitles look is really dependent on a couple of things, mostly the font and also the font size. I'm going to use a portable version or a beta version of subtitle edit. Let's just double click on it. And I'll just show you that it's the beta version. Subtitle edit 3.6.12, next beta 198 now let's get our video open video file we'll use this video and then from here we can just use the audio to text feature via whisper click on that and then click on uh, i'm going to use the const me engine because it is super fast and for a minute 40 second video it's going to take about four or five seconds it's super fast to get the automatic subtitles uh, right there just about five seconds now, here are subtitles. If I play, hello and welcome to our channel today. With a few minor tweaks, the subtitles will almost be perfect. But now, what we're interested in is the fonts in subtitle edit. Now, first of all, we've got the preview font. This is called the preview font. It is what your subtitles are going to look like when you're previewing them in subtitle edit, not how they're going to look like when you export that particular video or when you generate the video with band in subtitles. Now, to change this preview font, you'll need to go to options, settings, and then from here, we can go to video player. The number one thing I'd recommend is if, you know, if you've not yet done this is that for your subtitles to be previewed inside the video, you need to use the MPV player. So you can always download the MPV player if you don't have it. Now. Let's talk about the fonts. We're interested in this particular section, subtitle preview font name. I've already set mine to Arial. By default, the font that is usually there is called Tahoma. And if I click on that and click OK, that is what Tahoma looks like. But let's go back and go back to the video player. And this is what it looks like. So from here, you can uh, set how you want your preview subtitles to look like right inside here. You can change the font, you can remove the bold, you can set the font size, and so on and so forth. And in addition to a future version of subtitle edit that is coming, we are going to have the primary, outline, shadow, and also these particular options. Looks really, really good to have this available. So these have been borrowed uh, from the ASSA uh, subtitle styling that is always available. But let's assume we want to use Arial as our preview font. Let's go Arial. And then we go to maybe something like 16, size 16. Click OK. And there we go. That is our preview font. So that's number one. Next up, we can also change the font name that we want to use for the SRT subtitles. Now, most players may not recognize this, but we can just change this. Let's select all, click on one, and then press on control A, right click, font name, and we can change this to Arial. Click on this, and this is what Arial looks like. Yeah, the different versions uh, will all look a little bit different, but let's go with Arial, click OK. And we're going to see now the font face Arial it's going to be into brackets and the and then the brackets are going to be closed for the font. Now, this you can always configure right inside here. And if you play at this in a player that recognizes fonts or even a web based player, then this is going to be uh, accepted as it is and they're going to play. If I click on F2, this is a source view. This is what the subtitles are going to look like. F2 again to go back to the list view. And this is what they look like. Now, with the preview font here and with the font face here, if you try to burn in this particular subtitle file to this video, go to video, generate video with band in subtitle. One thing you'll notice is that it's going to remember the font name that you choose here. So if I click on preview, it's going to show up like this. Now, let's assume uh, we want to use something like Verdana and then click on preview. That is what Verdana looks like. Now, 
uh, you can also change the size and so on and so forth so depending on the font you have here you'll need to change this to what you need it to be this is the preview font this is the burning subtitle font it is what you want so i wish there was a way we can have uh like maybe preset styles for fonts that we like or that we have saved right inside here so it would make life easier now you can set uh, the settings the way you want let's say you want 30 and then uh, you can also change this go to something like helvetica and then click on preview that is what helvetica lt looks like that's good with me and if you're satisfied with all the settings you can just click on generate to burn in the subtitles to your video now what i prefer is to uh, change my format of subtitle from subrip to advanced substation alpha dot ass now once you do that you'll see that the subtitle preview here changes now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on advanced substation alpha styles click on that and from here you can actually create your own style right here that you can use over and over again especially when you're working on videos that look identical uh, you can uh, change the font name font size and a bunch of other options here so i'll move this to the side slightly and then we can say let's go with vardana here is going to be our default click on that that's the font name we want the font size to be about 38 that's okay and then we want this to be bold those are just some few uh options we've done so you can see the font name the font size and then the use 34 and then primary and then we've got the uh, text outline will look like this for us to preview this i can just click on apply with this window showing here if i click apply you'll see that it changes it gets smaller and then it has some sort of a bold outline now if that is what you wanted then that's it you can actually even decide to save this as uh, reusable that's the name and then click on apply click on ok there we have it if you want now to burn in your subtitles whatever you see here is what you're going to get so just go to video generate video with burned in subtitle you'll see that the settings are no longer are selectable i can click on preview and that is what our subtitles are going to look like and then you can generate the video with burned in subtitles now if i actually work on another video uh, let's say uh, we actually just change this to uh, let's say something like what srt again uh, and we say uh, you are, we assume that you're working on another subtitle etc then you just come here uh, advanced substation alpha it picks up the style by default but if it doesn't pick it up you can just come here and then select it you can uh, import new styles export etc and reuse but fonts are really important in subtitle edit and they are preview fonts and then we have the assa uh, that you can actually uh, configure the way you want and always keep using over and over again to avoid keeping on changing the different settings so that's my recommendation for this and this video was an answer to a question i was asked about uh, how to change the fonts the font size and so on and so forth i hope this video is of value thanks for watching